What is up, guys? I'm here with my client, Gabrielle. She has done really well so far in the program, and I wanted to share some wins and just really talk about her experience. So, um, Gabby, welcome. And if you can tell everybody a little about yourself and get us started. Yeah. Um, so I have been an online, uh, I took officially took my business online in 2017. And I would say it's definitely been not a struggle, but kind of like an uphill battle to get to the point I'm even at now where I feel like I finally have the momentum that I need to actually build like a real business, not just, yeah, I have a few clients like here and there or have a very sporadic, like, yeah, I'll get one client and then I'll fall off for a couple of months. Like now I finally feel like I have the traction under me to not only like build the business, but I was able to, you know, hire someone who helps me. So now I don't have to do certain things that I don't want to do anymore or I don't have time to do. So I feel like I'm finally now in the position where I can like take my business to a new level, which is exciting. So what's your background? Like what, what is your expertise when it comes to like fitness and health? Like who do you typically help? Um, so I typically help athletes or former athletes, people who, you know, they're not starting from scratch, but they seem to have fallen off or lost their way, or they are doing all the things and they're still not seeing results. They're still not seeing the progress. So basically that's where I step in and tell them kind of like, you're probably not, it's not that you need to start over. You're just missing one piece of the puzzle. Some things we just got to figure out what that is and, and how we can make it work. For sure. So before we got started, what do you feel like was your biggest challenge with all the other coaching experiences you've had? And, and kind of explain to me like where you, where you felt stuck ultimately and, and what you think was the biggest shift for you uh, joining us? Um, I think from all the other programs, everything was like very much generic. One, they were all like, um, like a group focused program. So you never really had you know, like the time to connect and like deep dive into your own personal business, or if you had certain things going on that you wanted to like fully explain, it was a lot harder to like get through on those aspects. And I think joining this program, like immediately that was addressed. It was very much like, okay, let's look at your specific business. What are you doing? What are we looking at? And let's try specific strategies to help you, you know, change the trajectory of what whatever's going on. Um, so I feel like that has been the biggest game changer before it was more so just like, oh yeah, well we have this, we like to have like, um, a lot of our clients run this like group thing, or like, I feel like I was always being pushed into running like group challenges or like doing things like that, which that's not going to bring a high ticket client in, honestly. Um, so I feel like that's kind of where I was stuck. Yeah. Do you feel like every time, like, I guess, how many pros do you think you had gone through prior to this at this point? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> so many. Um, I want to say I did like five programs before this. Isn't that one. crazy? Like it's a lot of the times I see this all the time when people talk to me, like to me, I'm like, I've done all these different programs. I've tried these strategies. And like a lot of the times, like different coaches will give you strategies that are, that are obviously marketing strategies, but they never really figure out like who you are. So I think a lot of the times, like every single person I've talked to, they have different strengths and weaknesses. And I think when you don't consider that, yeah. or, you know, consider someone's even mentality, right? You don't know what they're capable of. You don't know what they probably shouldn't do. And I think a lot of times coaches are like, hey, do this and you have to follow our process or, you know, you know, get off, right? Don't do anything else or you're in trouble or like, it's just this weird kind of authoritarian attitude about, you know, you have to do this or you, you're not gonna get results. And I think like, it's never, like you said before, like you're the kind of person who, when you're told to do something, you follow through, even if it's the wrong thing, you're just gonna, you know, probably bang your head against the wall. <laughs> Um, so it's been cool to see you actually apply strategies that are specific for you and, and finding the audience uh, where you're at. What would you say if you were kind of looking at the whole process, what do you feel like made the biggest difference for you? Is it just like the support? Like, what would you say about our process and the way we've helped you? Like felt like it was the biggest um, impact for you personally? Um, I think two things. One, like being able to actually say like, hey, here's what's going on. And you being able to like look at my business and say, all right, well, why don't we try this? And then the second part is like the specific strategies that you gave me. They weren't just like generic. Oh, yeah, we'll host a group challenge for 30 days and see how many people like apply or whatever. It was very much like very specific, very targeted. And it actually helped me find which has been my struggle. Like every single program, I'm like, how do I find like my target audience? How do I find my target audience? And I was never able to find them until, until now. So I feel like that was probably the biggest changer. And what were some of the results you've seen in terms of like, you know, whatever you're doing before to like now? Um, I think now I'm getting better quality people um, and more people that are like 
similar to me, similar like commitment wise, similar in like work ethic. They're not people that are just going to like come be interested or just be like blown away by like the motivation, but not actually really willing to do the work that there's definitely just like more serious human beings now, which is nice. Yeah. I think it's crazy. How, like so many people fail to get in front of the right customers. And so I see people charging like, you know, even, even one to 2k for their programs. And it's just, it's just not going to work for people long-term to build a business. And I think once you have the right offer, once you have the right audience, like you can generate whatever you want. It's just a matter of numbers at that point. Mm -hmm. Um, So if you're kind of like, if you were to give somebody advice, who's kind of in a similar position, A, what were your hesitations before joining? And then what would you tell somebody who was more like you, who was like thinking about signing up? Um, Somebody like me, I would tell them, just do it. And then they would probably listen because somebody like me, that's all you need to hear is like, just do it. It'll be worth it. Um, my hesitations was like, oh God, is this going to be like another, is this going to be another one of the programs that I just joined? I, I swear to you after my last one, I was like, I'm just never going to do this again. I'll figure it out on my own, blah, blah, blah. And it was because like one, I had a recommendation, but two, also like having that first conversation with you, I knew immediately then it was actually going to be different. And that was, that was enough to like, so I mean, you know, I was sold on day one. I was like, yeah, just, I need to figure out how to make it work, but yeah, let's do it. Obviously this is not the cheapest program, but it definitely, <laughs> I know that we force people to level up and you're an example of that because a lot of times like people think like, it's just like dating or relationships. Like just because you have a bad relationship doesn't mean every single one is the same. And even though you've gone through different programs, it wasn't because like you couldn't achieve the result. It's because like every time you tried to get individual support, you were kind of given a blanket statement answer. And mm-hmm. I just think a lot, like that's what I don't like about our industry. A lot of the times like coaches will scale up and they, they forget that every person is gonna be individually different at like at their part in the journey, right? Like you may have a beginner who's actually more advanced, but they're just a beginner in marketing. Whereas you may have somebody who's like an expert in marketing and they need, but they're like actually more of a beginner in training. And so I've seen various examples where you're more of an expert, but then you were kind of a beginner in certain parts of marketing. Mm -hmm. And every person I talk to needs a little bit of a different approach when it comes to like, what's actually gonna move the needle for them um, based on where they're at. So. Yeah, it's really cool to watch you. You do really well and just know how to get momentum, like how to control like your lead flow, where to find the right customers and get on the phone with people who actually can afford your services or people you like to work with. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I feel like it's definitely a night and day difference from where I was a couple of months ago. And I feel like now I just feel really good. Like I'm happy that I'm in the position where I'm actually like, I'll start seeing really, really good numbers. Like I feel like better. Like, I feel like I actually have a business now and it's not just something that's going to be up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. I think that's what a lot of people want ultimately is they want control. And in a business, you know, we're on social media and everyone's like, Oh, go, go DM people, go post all the time. But what happens when that doesn't work? Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, then what do they tell you? Like, Oh, well, I'm sorry. It doesn't work for you. Like, that's just not, that's not the right approach when it comes to coaching. And, you know, you've obviously been a testament to that. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to obviously bring her on and, and kind of have this because a lot of coaches experience the same things, no matter how many programs you've been through or what you think you know about marketing, you need an individualized plan and you need a process that someone looks at you and say, here's what I think you should do, not somebody else should do, and uh, just kind of hold you by the hand until you really get it down. So um, yeah, thank you so much for hopping on today. And um, yeah, so. Yeah, of course. <laughs>